Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest Heckfire video. Today we'll be going over the altar event, uh, the problems with the altar event, and then the solutions that we can uh, basically fix this altar event to make it more fun, because currently it's probably the worst event in the game, uh, beside probably the uh, Treasure Titans, which doesn't isn't really an event, it's just like a, a farming thing, but that's we can go over that in a different video, but that's also a really bad event. Uh, but this is a really, really, really poorly thought out event. Uh, it's currently, it, it just, there's no fun in it, no one likes it, it's just basically a farming event even though it's supposed to be made as a pvp event it basically ends up as a par farming event so what is the altar event um it's basically a event where you go capture these little altars around the map um there is no indication where they are so you got to search around the map try and find them um they're all over the map though there's plenty of them you don't really have to fight over them at all and you really can't fight over them anyways even if you wanted to because you can only capture a maximum of five um and that's based on your uh current chess level of your guild so uh, depending on what your chest level is, it will depend what altars you can capture. Our guild can capture four level fours and one level three. So the big problem with that is we can't compete with someone who has a max chest level because they're going to be capturing five level fives and they'll be getting 50 points per minute plus uh, five for each uh it's called joiner uh, where we'll be only getting four and plus three for one so that's all we can get uh, so we're inherently almost down 15 percent uh, points per minute based on the same amount of people joining the rallies and if we have all the altars so there is no way we could ever come first even if we were the best guild in the kingdom which we are um, so there's no way we can compete when we're coming like 10th place um, even though these other guilds are not as high as us. We could totally destroy them if it was a proper event, but it's not. Except for NDD. They'd be the only guild we'd have to fight for. Um, but uh, basically, yeah, because they just have a higher chest event level than us, and they can get more level 5 altars, then we can't get any level 5 altars. We can't knock them off their level 5 altars, because that's also a part of the event that uh, we can't do. And it's too bad, because uh, if you look at the prizes, the prizes are really, really good. Um, the completion prize is good, but even like the first place prize here, like we can't compete for this. And these are like the rare dragon stamps that are really good and you have the uh, uh, bargain bin stamps as well that you're getting and then the chests for the uh, epic dragon chests that give you the relics so these are really important stuff that we, we literally cannot compete with just because our uh, chess level isn't high enough because we're a newer guild so um, that's kind of silly that newer guilds even though if they're strong enough they can't compete just based on chess level that's basically it. Another thing is basically um, what happens is uh, these altars are all over the map. They're just hidden so you have to go to find them and there's too many of them so it basically just turns into a farming event because you find five altars you sit on the altars. No one's going to hit your altar because they'll find five altars themselves and a lot of times they're on the same level altar and like I said we cannot get a level five even if we wanted to because it doesn't allow us to do that. Um, it's part of the game so it's like okay I guess we'll just lose the event and sit there and farm and come tenth because there's nothing we can do. There's there's no way we can fight for those other ones because we can't even hit them, basically. Um, so it's not like a research you can do. It's based on your chest, so it, and the chest takes forever as a guild to level up, so... Um, it is what it is. Um, that's kind of how it's set up. Uh, how you can actually fix that would be a couple ways. The first way to fix that would be, um, and st it's kind of like the shrines, because the shrine is the big event that happens, whatever, once a month. Honestly, it should happen more often because it's really fun and it should be much shorter than it is. But um, that's that's another story. But currently, let's say um, someone has one of these cores. So you can only have one of each of these cores. There's three of them. Um, there's a Badlands, there's a Swamp one, and then there's a uh, Grasslands one. So you can only hold one core at a time. But here here's the thing is you can rally other people on those cores. So if you have a Grassland core and someone goes and takes a uh, Swamp core or whatever, let's say they take the Swamp core, you can actually rally them and knock them off. You won't keep the Swamp core, but you will knock them off the Swamp core. Then they got to take 10 minutes to capture it again or whatever it is. Yeah, 10 minutes to occupy it. So that's a really cool uh, feature in the game that's already in there. So I don't know why it's not in the uh, Ultra event. So uh, what they should do is basically similar to that you could have like patches of uh altars all around let's say um let's say let's say there's you can capture five like maximum five so just have five one to fives here five one to fives here five one to fives here and maybe have like um well or not five sorry one of each one to five in maybe five different locations around the map um have them show up on the map so people go to that part and fight over those things and anyone can have anything from one to five depending on no matter what your uh, castle or your uh, your guild's chess level is so everyone can compete 
fairly and evenly. And uh, it will just depend on how organized your guild is, how strong your guild is and all that. And then it makes it a fun event because people are, are actually having to fight over these uh, shrines that are all over the map. So let's say um, they're like in the corners here, um, like on this thing here. Let's say there's one here and then there's like one here and then let's say like one here or whatever like it depends it depends where everyone is uh, and you can have them spawn all around the middle here uh, like five and then have a level one to five let's say up here and a level one to five over here a level one to five over there and then you can capture a maximum of five altars at a time um so that means there's only five level fives on the whole map so if you can capture five things and you want five level fives, you now have to fight over the level five with the other guilds. Um, what you could do is give someone a level five and take a level four, but there's no way you're going to beat them because now they have the level five. So it ends up people are rallying level fives. Uh, the smaller guilds will now end up fighting over the level ones and twos. Um, it still makes it PVP because the smaller guilds will want those two to compete the, complete the event, uh, but they won't be winning the event because you won't have enough points at level ones to five. So it's, it's, a, good, it's a good sort of setup, but it's just executed very poorly in the event um so like um instead of like let's say uh where was it sorry i'm going back uh we'll go back to here so yeah so let's say uh you need the level fives to have the most points per minute uh so everyone uh, the big guilds will be fighting for the level fives the smaller guilds might be fighting for the level threes and the really small guilds will be fighting for the level ones if anyone's even fighting for those at that point or or the level the smaller guilds could decide hey i just want to take a level two maybe a level three here and there and then the uh and then they'll finish the event. They won't come first, but at least they'll have a chance to fight over it. And it'll be a fun event at the, for them as well, because they'll be fighting with the smaller guilds. And then the bigger guilds will be fighting with the fours and fives. And also what you should be able to do is knock anyone off an altar at any time. Uh, if you have five altars already, you should be able to knock them off and rally that altar, but not be able to capture it, just like the uh, Shrine Core event. So... Um, or the shrines here, like the cores. So um, currently you can knock them off, but you can't keep more than one core. So if that's the same thing, it should be in the altar event. Um, if you're trying to train people to get ready for these uh, big shrine events that are happening, where it was called once a month, use those little altar events to train them that way. So it's like, hey, uh, we can basically capture five and then rally someone off there. And then that will knock them off. And there's a capture period in between. So um, now that... Uh, the capture period's over, whatever, you're slowing them down, they're not getting points during the capture period, and that, that's how you get ahead in the event as well. So, same thing, um, I guess the biggest guilds would be fighting over level 5s all the time, so it'd just be constant rallies back and forth, trying to steal those level 5s, but um, it would make the event so much more fun, it would take it, take it into a new, a whole new level, basically, of, like, PvP and uh, involvement of your guild, because now that it's not just a farming event where you take five altars and you just sit there for like 10 minutes or I guess it's like a two hour event. You sit there for two hours with your uh, thing on there. No one's rallying each other. And you're just like, okay, I guess I'm farming points where it turns that into like, Hey, we're, we're now fighting over these things. And there's, there's five or five positions around the map. And um, you might have to like research uh, like speed for your troops to get across the map or be using gems to do that. And it's just like, you have to strategize where you want to put all your all your guild mates so you can reinforce and rally the different ones all around the map. It makes it so much more fun and it, it gets everyone so much more involved into the event itself. So um, that's basically the uh, updates that you could do for it. Um, if you want to keep it the same way, but then at least allow people to rally whatever ones they want. Uh, take up the five altars. So it's it like I said, it's a fair event then that you're not like you're not. Perp well, you're not handicapped just because your guilt your chest level is smaller than anyone else like you, you just started a guild so now you cannot compete in the other you can't compete in the event at all until your guild level is up um and there's no way to like buy the guild level up it's just like killing monsters and stuff like that and getting chests and it takes forever to get that chest up so if you're like down you're basically down and out for the whole event basically like there's even like you could basically lose all the all things events and then win the like the stronghold event because it's different, but uh, I think you need a chess level for that too, but I'm not sure about that, but I, whatever, that's, that's totally, it's totally separate. So, um, that's kind of my, uh, my ideas on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Hey, so one more last thing. If you guys do want to join the game, I will leave my invite link in the description down below. So I'll just go to a notepad here. Um, so it's just basically a, an in-game invite thing. So I think I you become my vassal and we can send each other to chests and stuff like that through the game. So if you guys want to keep in touch with my account, um, this will be the, uh, the uh, link I will put in the description so you guys can just click on it. Uh, but again, I am an SNS um, guild. So if you guys get strong enough or you guys are already playing the game you want to come join us uh, we're in kingdom 106 so you guys can come play with us i think the kingdom's uh might cap is around 2 billion so it's pretty easy to get into right now so hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next one